In the wake of a teenager's death overdosing on a prescription painkiller, law enforcement and community leaders in Milton are coming together tonight. Rock County reporter Brad Champson live at Milton City Hall tonight with more. Brad. Well, just moments ago, Jennifer, Jennifer Bethel, the mother of Alex Aiken, said she is hurt from the corner and her son did die of an overcoast of I, the prescription painkiller Oxycontin. Al, she found her son, Alex, again in his bed in their town of Milton home last month. And that is ultimately what is bringing everyone here tonight. Milton now knows of the dangers of prescription drug abuse. Tonight, they discuss what to do about it. The death of 13-year-old Alex Aiken shook a community where street drugs, not prescriptions, are of greatest concern. It brought awareness that prescription drugs can be just as deadly as anything else on the street. One prescription pill taken by a person that it was not prescribed for can be just as deadly as a gunshot. Lieutenant John Conger is leading the push to increase awareness about prescription drug abuse. He says Aiken's death was not enough to make students think twice about taking risks. That same week, we had another young man overdose that was 13, 14 years old. He did not die. He survived. However, we had the overdose there. And then we also had uh, prescription medications that were being uh, distributed up at our local high school. The community meeting is aimed at teaching how powerful prescription drugs are, as well as how to keep them off the streets to begin with. In the near future, students will hear a similar message in the classroom. One of the different approach we're going to be doing this year is, is to make it more personalized uh, within the, in the classroom level and follow up discussions uh, and having the kids get a chance to ask questions as well. The battle against drugs won't be won easily, but locking up medications is a step everyone can take to help. The average person in our community can't have an impact on the heroin that comes in here, but they can have an impact on securing any medications that they have that are going to be used in the same general way that an illegal drug. Tonight's discussion is scheduled to start at 6 o'clock. People are still wandering in right now as we speak. There are several presentations that are scheduled for this meeting. That will be followed by a question and answer session with local law enforcement as well as members of the local school district. It is open to anyone who wants to come by. It should last about an hour or so if you're in the area and you're interested, you still have time to make it. All right, Brad James and live at Milton City Hall tonight. Brad, thank you. As Brad mentioned, the meeting underway just now at the Milton City Hall. That's on High Street, and they're in the city council chambers. We're told it will run as long as they need to get everyone's questions answered.